Already facing several lawsuits and the foreclosure of his seven Louisiana nursing homes, Bob Dean Jr. was his own worst enemy earlier this month, according to Georgia authorities. The Thomaston Police Department, outside of Atlanta, confirmed that on March 4th, Dean was charged with reckless conduct and firing a weapon near a public road. Even worse for Dean, he reportedly blew off his thumb when he accidentally discharged a 357 revolver. Mr. Dean seems to make his own problems. Uh, for lack of a better word, he's one of the most toxic defendants I've ever seen. A radio station based in Thomaston, where Dean says he now lives, reported that the shooting took place at a car dealership when he was moving guns from one vehicle to another. After the shooting, Dean reportedly returned to this remote mansion where Thomaston police said he refused medical help and ordered officers off of his property. While the shooting case is pending, Dean suffered a different type of setback in Louisiana last week when he tried to argue that he had permanently moved to Georgia three days after Hurricane Ida made landfall. That would have allowed him to move the lawsuits against him to federal court. Not only did federal court judge Lance Afric deny Dean's motion, but he cast considerable doubt about Dean's claim that he lived in Georgia at the time of the storm. Starting on page 28 of the 32-page ruling, Afric wrote, Regardless of the reason for Dean's conflicting statements and actions, the court affords Dean's statements little weight insofar as they are inconsistent with Dean's other statements or objective facts. It's very judicial talk, but uh, it's strong language no matter how you look at it. Attorney Madro Banderas has filed two lawsuits against Dean, one in Jefferson Parish and one in New Orleans. He said the ruling is a green light to press ahead in the local courts. A state court can manage this. These are state claims. They should be here. How much Dean is able to defend himself at all remains up in the air. In a previous motion, Dean's attorneys argued that he should not be forced to participate because he has dementia. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News.